Hey, real estate agents, welcome to the weekly closer. I'm your host, Jeff Underwood, along with Joey Sampaga, the man with the plan. How's it going, Joey? What's going on, guys? Well, we're having fun. We're here with the, uh, we are the real estate marketing maniacs here at Security Title Studio. We've got a couple guests with us today in the house. Sometimes we just have one guest, but we have two today. So, uh, double the fun, right, guys? Absolutely. So, here we have with us today. Greg Stanton and Aaron Hawkins with Hawkins Stanton Lifestyle Properties. Thanks for coming on, guys. You got hey, guys, thanks for having us today. So let's let's start with I guess telling the listeners, or if you're watching this on video, don't forget you can watch this on video as well. Um, let's tell them a little bit about your background. How long you guys have been in real estate? Who are you with, broker wise, and what really got you guys in the business? And then maybe also talk about how you came together as a team. Cool. Well, I actually started uh, real estate seven years ago. I used to be a custom home builder, uh, built homes anywhere from a million up to two, three million dollars. Uh, as we all know, the market uh, did a number on us back in 2007, and especially when you got into that custom home area. Yeah. Um, and I had dealt with real estate agents um, being on the builder side of it. So I knew a lot about homes and I sat there and said, wait a minute, I already have my license. Why not engage in real estate? Um, so I think like most people, I thought, yeah, this is going to be an easy segue. Uh, joined Keller Williams, got a great education, and I've been at it ever since. Absolutely love it. Awesome. Thanks, Greg. Yeah, so I come from, probably share a lot of background, a lot of real estate agents, sort of midlife career, saying, what am I going to do next? I uh, spent uh, 17 years in the corporate world, um, had uh, a number of changes. Uh, I really was working in sales and, and traveling about 85% of the time. Most of it was overseas. I had a young family. And it came time where I really had to sort of put a pause and say, what's most important? And actually, real estate was uh, really just an, an interim step. I didn't realize that I was actually going to stay with it. I thought, well, look, you know, make lots of money in real estate, right? <laughs> <laughs> that seems to be a trend. Yeah, yeah. Think. So, uh, <laughs> but actually, I, I got started. I had a phenomenal mentor join sort of a, a family team and um, realized that, hey, you know, I can take a lot of it from the business application and apply it to the real estate side. Um, and actually through that period, I met Greg probably a year and a half into the business, something like that. And we shared a lot of a lot of the former background in terms from a, a professional sense. We both okay. owned businesses. We both uh, had worked uh, in the corporate world. And um, so, again, sharing the same ethos, we thought there's an opportunity to leverage both uh, our strengths okay. and hold each other accountable from uh, from a, um, you know, on, on the weakness side. Yeah, for sure. No, that's a great idea. So share with us then, what what are you doing right now? I mean, what are you guys seeing that's successful right now uh, as far as either generating leads, you know, getting the business? What are you doing? You know, about a lot of it for us is um, we're big into time blocking. Okay. Um, we set out our year, we set out our month, we set out our weeks, and we set out our days. Um, and it has just, just been phenomenal. We Our business has just blossomed. I mean, it is so much fun to go out there every day. And that's, guys, that's the cool thing about when you really sit down and look at your business and make it a business, it's amazing what happens to your business and you as an individual. Uh, when you yeah. start engaging in real estate, engaging with your clients, um, the biggest success, though, is we, we stick to our time blocks. Um, we have three days a week that we do open houses. We have one day a week that we go out and we look at the inventory on the market. We have another day a week where we go out and we film videos for social medias. Yeah. And we know ahead of time, hey, here's what we got to do to make it work. And I always tell it because I actually mentor the new client, the new agents in my office. I said, look, guys, when you start doing what you're supposed to be doing to generate business, it's fun. So you're saying scheduling your work schedule your and work. it works right? <laughs> it works okay and, th- and i think that's something a lot of uh, especially newer agents right because they don't uh, new agents usually are not sticking with the business um what is it so a large percentage leave within two years or whatever the case it's probably a, a lot of that has to do with not sticking to a plan not actually working it's not having a plan is really or not having yeah. a plan okay and then that's sticking to it yes yeah name the game consistency for sure okay how about you want to share a little bit what you're doing? Uh, you got some online lead gen that you're doing, also. You know, I mean, so everybody has a lead generation strategy. Ours is sort of a, a hybrid of uh, traditional things like open houses, uh, door knocking, um, but it is a digital age, and, and you have to be a part of it. You have to be, you know, get your name out there. You have to provide something. You have to provide. I have a, actually a digital strategy. You have to have a smart content. You have to have something that engages people, brings it back to the table. So, we put a lot of time into. Um, previewing houses, showing people houses, uh, you know, top open houses of the week, um, top homes in our opinion for a particular area. 
those types of things, putting on a social media and, and try to make it engaging, uh, okay. a bit humorous at times. But uh, yeah, for sure. yeah. <laughs> so what's your number one social media platform? Uh, Facebook. Facebook. For sure. You want to share any example of something that you've done that you got some good results or? Yeah, I'll tell you, we just did it. Um, you know, uh, part of what we do is we actually go out there engaging with other agents. Okay. And that's another thing I'd tell, hey, new, if you're a new agent, go out to other agents' open homes and talk to those agents. Get to know them. Um, they have a wealth of information. They've generally done a lot of work already. Um, I did that. I just went out on a tour, saw a really, really cool home. Um, the agent was there. I asked her if we could come back uh, on Sunday and film a little video for Facebook on it. Um, we did that. Um, we started doing this program. They, we, by the way, we sent it to her. She was just she loved it. Her client loved it, um, and it really helps with your relationships when your clients are actually saying, "Oh gosh, these guys are going the extra mile. They're giving me exposure that I wouldn't normally have." The other thing is when you start looking at Facebook. When Aaron and I first started this program, we averaged anywhere from five to ten hits on the things that we put on Facebook. Um, today, I think we. Both say we're disappointed if we get anything less than 700. 700? Wow, 700. 700 hits. So I'm curious. Videos. Just from an organic perspective, let's, let's be clear, because the difference between between organic traffic and... Uh, yeah, we really try to drive stuff organically. Yeah, okay. For sure. Well, I'm curious, because when you uh, before the show started, you were talking about um, how you took a maniacs class for Facebook. Mm. A shameless yeah. plug for us, of course. Can you, can you tell us how that helped you guys? Yeah, I, I think it's about, um, you know, you guys obviously have a system and, and being a little bit more organized. We were sort of doing the, um, <laughs> you know, jump on, do a video, not, not a lot of planning towards <laughs> in terms of what we're going to say, how we're going to say those types of things. Yeah. And so, you know, coming from a marketing background, background it is just more of a confirmation. Of, hey, we actually, ha actually have to have a strategy every single time we go to do a video. And it's not good enough just to do a video because, yeah, we may get our name out there, but at the end of the day, it's about gathering leads, right? Yes. So not only giving your, putting a video out there, but actually having a way to, once that somebody comes into whatever platform you're using, having a way to actually capture that lead. Yes. And I yeah. think that's a big gap between where people are today. You put out a video, you talk about a lot of different things, but if you have no way of capturing that lead on the back end, it's yeah. not a very good it's strategy. It's a call to action. Right, and that's right. one of the things we got from the maniacs. It was, cool. I mean, it was just an introduction. We know they're doing more classes, so we're not going to miss them. Oh, we, <laughs> we love it when you mention us. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Um, no, that's all. Awesome. So Joey and I spent some time at the social media marketing world event, and one of the guys stood up, and he does a lot of live streaming, uh, Facebook Live. And like you're saying, to have a strategy, right, no matter what, with your videos, with your live streams, all that, have a strategy. That's one of the things he pointed out. He says, just because you go live doesn't mean you shouldn't have a strategy. You're always thinking how you're sending them to the next, the next, the next. So, Well, it's just like that. everything else in real estate. Mm -hmm. It's putting you first in mind. Um, we're getting to the point now where I literally, my Mets who know me, hey, when's your next video coming out? Yeah. Well, they know, hey, it's coming out on Thursday. Awesome. Um, we film our videos on a Saturday or Sunday. We sit on them for a week. We try to refine them. Sometimes we totally erase them and go back and redo them. <laughs> it's not that it doesn't take work, guys. It does take work and it takes thought. But here's the good news. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. People start looking for you in your videos. For example, we have a whole series now that we do on open houses. Every Thursday it comes out and people can get in there. All they have to do is tap in a code and it shows them every open house that's in yeah. the Southeast Valley. Wow. Okay. All right. You guys have a, a specific niche that you're working right now? I mean, would you say you dialed it into a, a really narrow niche, or are we? Um, I, you know, I think it's very difficult in the Phoenix Valley to be kidding. Okay. Okay. Very, very narrow niche, unless you were doing significant volume where that affords you the luxury to actually get very, very specific. Okay. Um, you know, the, the the Phoenix market. Yeah, there's. It's. I think I'm answering it in a sort of confused manner because. Um, you know, that's why we do lifestyle properties. We believe that, um, you know, traditional listing itself, when you're putting these things forward, everybody's putting on the MLS. Everybody's yeah. doing something with, but you actually have to have more to it. You have to be able to tell a story about a property. You have to be able to differentiate a property and yourselves that plays two, two sides, right? One right. to the actual property and one to you as an agent. And so your ability to differentiate um, it's really what's going to drive to the next step and make us make you more successful. And I think that's really where we've been able to capitalize, not only in our experience but also our strategy, is is telling that story, and making something a little bit different. What are you doing different? Yeah. Okay. So is that the advice you would give? So if a new agent joins your team or comes on board or whatever, how are you how are you coaching them, or what would you tell them to do today in today's market to get business? 
Well, I'll tell you what I tell my mentors. Pick something to do that you like, that helps you lead generate, that you're willing to do on a weekly basis and consistently. Consistently. And that's the biggest thing we tell everybody. It's all about consistency. It's all about get out there, engage in the market. How do you do that? I always tell it. For me, it's face to face. For some people, it might be on that phone working those cold calls. Um, I try to get the na- the new agents out there face to face. Sometimes I'll go with them, whether it's door knocking, whether it's working your open houses. A lot of people say, "Oh, well, door knocking, you're mainly looking for buyers." No, we're in a seller's market, and if I have, I always tell people, "Look, you lead the conversation." So make it your conversation. Talk to them about what's going on in the market right now. Do you have a house to sell, or do you know somebody's interested in selling? Because yeah. we're in a seller's market, um, and make the story exciting. You'll be successful. Um, I think it's our biggest thing, and come from contribution. Don't worry about the dollars. Dollars will follow. If you can connect with people, you'll get the job. Consistently. Consistently. Got it. Okay. So are you guys, uh, what would you say is your the biggest impact in your business right now? Are, you, are the videos a big thing? I mean, I know you're doing a lot of videos, right? I, I think it's the polish on everything that we're doing. It's the, okay. it's the the it's the reference point where you can bring people back to. It's the it's the evidence. It's the validation of if I, if I tell you that we do you know a minimum of uh, two videos per week and we do it on these types of houses, you can actually validate it by going to the internet and saying, oh, well, actually, indeed, these guys do yeah. do that. So being able to validate everything that we tell our our clients from a listing perspective um, and also from a buy perspective, saying. Yeah, we're out here all the time. You can just look online and, and see what we're doing. So yeah. it's it's the validation that really, I think, has really brought it together. Got it. Yeah, he's being polite. It's because we okay. beat up each other when we're not doing our job. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> accountability, right? Absolutely. Um, are you guys using drones or anything at this point? Or you know, I think yeah, absolutely. So the answer, yes, absolutely. But is drone something new, something different? I think it's it is maybe for many people. But I think if we're just coming to the drone side. You're coming a little bit late to the table. It's one yeah. more thing. So okay. you have to continue to differentiate and look at what's going to be the next big thing. Yeah. I did well, see one that came out. Uh, I, we just found it actually the other day. And it's a new one that like fits in the palm of your hand. Oh, they keep getting yeah, better yeah. and better. Yeah. And, it, and it's controlled by your, your phone, mm. you know, and um, yeah, I mean, it looks awesome. We're going to pre-order it, I think. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what, you were going to say something, Greg? Well, and I think part of it is, is do we do use drones? Absolutely. Um, and, and, and I don't know that we directly answer your questions in terms of our niche. Um, we absolutely, we focus on those homes that are around the 600000 to $2 million range. Beyond that, it's really sort of beyond what we're looking for and what our concentration is. Um, and that's where that whole lifestyle story of those homes really comes to play. We um, and, and maybe that's where I'm more from a head trash perspective. Yeah, of course we're doing it because it's always at this level. Sure, but, sure. Uh, but but what makes it exciting and, and maybe what the difference is and what I would what I would share with new newer agents is make it a story. Learn about that house. Learn about why those people are selling. Learn about why did they move there. What is it about that community? We absolutely use drones, but what we don't do is just use a drone and go take a picture of a house. Yep, right. We'll actually sit with our drone operator and say, hey, we want you to come in from this angle. We want you to ca- capture those mountains over there. We want to actually get people so that when they come to look at our home, they've already seen it. Got it. Got it. No, that's awesome. Um, this has been great information. I truly appreciate it. And now it's time. Are you guys ready for this? I'll it's it. time to get in the ring with the maniacs. Are we ready? <laughs> Let's do this. There we go. So... And you guys can, whoever wants to jump in can just jump in, okay? Uh, what's the best advice anyone has ever given you? Hey, look, at the end of the day, it's very, very, it's very appropriate for right now. Look, get comfortable with being uncomfortable, huh? Greg and I were talking, oh, talking about we that go. before coming on. <laughs> yeah, we really were. It was actually, it is one of the things, and that's what I tell every new agent, man. Get comfortable being uncomfortable because there's going to be a lot of it. <laughs> Absolutely. How about what fav- uh, what's your favorite mobile app, whether that's personal or business? Oh, that's Aaron's, <laughs> man. He's my app <laughs> <All right>. guy. <laughs> okay. You know, I think it's a beautiful thing with the apps, you, how you can sort of blend it with things you're doing on the PC as well. I mean, we use a lot of Magisto for our videos. I mean, it's a quick wrap putting it together. Like Ripple, if we have to do something with uh, a static image where you have to put words on it, those types of things. So... Those are probably two that I use very often. Okay. All right. How about share with the listeners? What book would you recommend? One book that you would recommend? John Maxwell's 21 <laughs> Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. Good one. All right. Do you want to share one? Too? No, I'm going to defer to Greg. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. How about one productivity tool or software that you use every day? That's easy because we're using one right now and we're really, really excited to move forward with it. Um, we use conversion. 
conversion. And uh, it's been, um, we're still fighting through the learning curve like everything else, uh, but we're the stick to it type guys and um, we're going to keep working with it and okay. we're going to be successful with it. We're already seeing it moving in a great direction. Yeah, I've heard good things about it. We've, we've used a lot of it, a lot of the, you know, the comments. So you have all in one platforms, you've got your individual websites, you've got your CRMs. Um, you know, you're just going to have to pick what your what your skills are up to at that time and, and, and run with it. But I think Greg and I were even talking about this topic the other day. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter which platform you're using. If you're not doing the lead gen on the front end, it's not going to matter on the back end. Right. So you better start with the lead gen versus going to the, the platform piece and, yes. and get it in the right order. We all want the easy solution. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I consulted at Infusionsoft, and that was one of the things, you know, with the clients coming in. They want that drip campaign. They want that follow-up, that smart marketing um, but they all wonder, how do we get leads into the system, mm. right? So, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so we got one more question here, and you're going to draw this one from a mask. You want to go ahead and just draw one of those out? This is beautiful. What is that, velvet? <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> what do you got? What do you got? Who is your favorite actor or actress? That's easy for me, Clint Eastwood, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, he doesn't have a big picture above his desk. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, a good yep, a good one. Oh, gosh. I don't overthink it, Aaron. This is yeah, an easy Clint. one. <laughs> yeah, I, would go for these, I mean, oh, also, you know. all right. Uh, okay. Joey, do you want to share? Bruce Lee. What the? What the? I'll go ahead yes. and make my day. That's, <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right. Um, I would say I like Matt Damon movies. Um, yeah, he's good. I also like Russell Crowe. I think Russell Crowe is Gladiator phenomenal. Is one of my Absolutely. Movies. Anyway, but uh, hey, I appreciate you guys being on, um, Greg and Aaron. If agents wanted to reach out to you, how could they do that? Catch us HawkinsStaten uh, on Facebook, on YouTube. Um, yeah, we can give them the phone number. I mean, you can come right out. Call us at 602-999-5855. You can reach both of us at uh, 602-888-1398. There you go. <laughs> if you want to reach out, uh, there are the contact information. Hey, thanks so much for listening today. This is Jeff Underwood and Joey Sampaga with the Real Estate Marketing Maniacs at Security Title saying, see you later. Thanks, guys. So long. Bye now. Good job, everyone. Oh, that's too easy. There we go. That was fun, actually.